So the next stitch in our design is going to be the long and short satin stitch that we're going to fill in this section right up here. So to do that, we'll have our threaded needle and we'll just go from one side slightly into our shape here, making a satin stitch. Then we'll go back to the edge and we'll make a stitch that's either shorter or longer than our last stitch. We're just going to play with varying lengths here, always going right out to the edge and then into our shape. And the reason we do varying lengths is because when we blend in our next um, section here, it will be less noticeable. So after we've stitched our first section of long and short satin stitch, we're going to blend in our next row. And to do that, I like to come up away from the stitches I've done, and then bring my needle back down slightly over the stitches so they overlap. The reason I do that is because it's a little easier to blend your stitches when you are bringing your needle down into them instead of bringing your needle up through them. And the reason I don't go down in the same exact hole of that last stitch I did is because then you're less likely to see where those two stitches meet. It won't be as smooth as the satin stitch, but you will get a nice fill with the long and short satin stitch here. And because this section is still larger, I'm going to continue doing them long and short across as I blend them in here. We just won't be starting right at the edge. And again, you want your long and short satin stitches to be nice and tight together so they touch or even slightly overlap just so they fill in that space with a solid amount of color. 